What's up, this your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel. Today is part four to the finish room rebuild, and today is gonna be a pretty cool day because we're gonna be adding lights to this rack system so that way we can see the fish and really get a look at how things are going to look. We got a bunch of shop lights that we're gonna be hanging, and he's already actually down there working on some right now. But each aquarium is gonna have its own shop light hanging down from the ceiling, and then we're gonna have lights hanging from under here, shining down on these tanks. So by the end of this video, it's gonna look really nice. And we also gonna be doing a background in this video too. When I get done with this part, we should be looking really, really good. And I appreciate all the support I've been getting on all the videos, man. You guys are killing it, man. So keep showing that love. Keep liking these videos, sharing these videos, and leaving those positive comments, man. I really appreciate it. But let's get this video started. Uh, yeah, perfect height. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You got the architecture. <laughs> the architect is here, huh? The architect is in the building. The middle of the building. <laughs> We done. <laughs> Woo! I see how bright it is back there now. And the day goodbye, we ain't down here sweating working. He either working on his first room or he help you work on by. I gotta show out his first room. The man got something up his sleeve. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> when we get done with this, I'm gonna do a special tour just with his first room. And I'm gonna show y'all his saltwater stuff too, cause he go crazy. Three tanks done, two more to go. Finna take this uh, ceiling off though. Hopefully in a bunch of dust up under it. That's four lights down y'all, one more to go. It look real good too. Look at that, man. It just illuminated. I'm one happy fish keeper right now. <laughs> <laughs> level. Perfect. First one. <laughs> All right, y'all, so y'all see the final look, man. It looks amazing. Ooh, look at that illumination. Man, that looks so good. Turn this light off right here. Oh, yeah, that looked really good. What you guys think, man? If y'all like this look, give this video to like 400 likes, man. The next thing we finna do is do the bottom ones, and by the end of that, it should look amazing. My man came up with something so innovative. I'm not even gonna cap. I finally see my flower horn again. See my tiger bars, my African cichlid. Finally to see my bass again. Super happy, man, super happy. day two man as you can see we got all the lights hooked up man it's looking phenomenal now i'm just working on like little small minor things that i want to work on put up some backdrop today making wires disappear and then we can start moving on to something else I'm trying not to just rush because I'm always changing my mind so i read you guys comments and i take some of you guys suggestions and i add them the whole thing on my channel is showing people how to do the fish hobby some things i do cost money things that I do that don't cost nothing. As far as my backdrop, I could have bought some paint. So many options I had as far as my backdrop, but what I'm gonna be using is tablecloths, a dollar a piece. This one in particular is 54 inches tall and 108 inches long, so pretty much nine feet long. It's all about saving money on the little things that make a big difference. So that's what we finna do. We finna get this cracking, and by the end of this, we're gonna have a nice backdrop and it's gonna look even better, man. All right, so I got two of them up there right now, and it's looking pretty good. Is it a W or is it an L? I think it's a W. We 
finally got all of them up there and it's looking phenomenal bro but it's late night and i need to feed some fish and i know you guys want to see some fish so let's go ahead and do that go ahead and feed these guys get them going let's feed our beautiful flower horn he looks so good with this new light on him get him some of this look at that he almost bit the bag of brine shrimp like bro just chill out he be tweaking look at these guys they have definitely started to put on some size starting to get some color real aggressive good eaters as you can feed these sore tails and as you can see man this tank is doing phenomenal let's get these guys fed up these guys too they're not really like crazy crazy eaters oh these aren't regular brashardis they got like a yellow fin on them yellow top fin you can see that one really got some yellow on him throw some little spectrum pellets in here for them i give them live food i give them uh shrimp all different type of stuff but they eat the pellets and do really well I already fed the monsters you can see the catfish he is still super fat how beautiful that fish is all right guys, so today is a new day and I decided to add a little bit more reinforcement to the 55 gallon. So I went out to Lowe's and I picked up a bunch of these little foam pieces. Very inexpensive to get these. I'm gonna cut them to size and pull all the 55 gallons off. Start lining this foam up so that way we can set the 55 on top of this foam. So that way just give it a little bit more added protection. That's pretty much what I'm gonna work on today so y'all can just sit back and watch the process. So you see we got all the pieces cut everything up there on the stand looking good a lot more added protection and should prevent me having to shim the tanks also should level everything out take on a lot of the pressure of the tanks that's going to be sitting up here so i'm glad i went with this look or decided to do this you know what i'm saying and then put water in the tank get everything right, skate right. fish in and then you know, crack. you know Over with. yeah so this whole little project is taking a little longer to me it's not taking long because i'm taking my time i want to do everything right to you guys it might take a little longer because it's a lot of like little small things that i want to do that's gonna make a big difference in the long run now it's time to get these tanks back up here and then that's gonna be pretty much it He said, said y'all never see me sweating, so. Y'all see that? I'm sweating. Y'all yeah, always, they, they, always think it's just me sweating. Who you sweat to? Make <laughs> him a fan. Cool him off. Man. I'm talking about getting hot. All right, so we done worked into another day, and today is a special one because we are finally starting to fill up the first 55 gallon. It is already scaped, and it's looking really good. I got some nice rock structure in there. Filling it up right now, and then as I fill it up, I'm gonna start planting some plants in here. I got some aquarium lilies, I got some crypts, I got some rotalia, I got some honey wart. I have some, I have tons of different plants that we finna plant this thing out, and it should look amazing when we get done. So that's what I'm finna do. So y'all, this course screw valve right here, this course screw valve look really dope. When this grow in, it's gonna look phenomenal. This tank right here that I'm setting up is gonna be for my Black Moscow Guppies. I have an abundance of them and they're breeding like crazy. So I'm gonna have Black Moscow Guppies and then I'm gonna probably put like some bristle nose plecos in here and maybe get like some corridors or something like that. So that's what this tank is going to be about because I gotta keep breeding out these black Moscows. I got some outside, I got some in the fish room. So I just wanna put them all into one big aquarium and let them just 
reproduce like crazy. I got a bunch of different types of moss. I got some Taiwan moss and I have some Christmas moss. So we're gonna put that on these pieces of wood and see how they do. I'm gonna plant this little harpening plant right here. I've been growing it out in a different aquarium. So I'm gonna take like these little runners and I'm just gonna plant them in different spots. So hopefully we should just eventually in some months, we should just have a bushes everywhere. Last plant I'm gonna put in, you know I gotta put in my crypts. Upstairs to the Exodon tank, I found a bunch of these nice crypts that's like doing really good, so. So that's gonna be the end of part four, man. We got a lot of stuff accomplished in this video, man. We got all new lighting for our aquariums. It looks amazing, super illuminated. I'm loving it. We end up putting a new background all the way down. That looks really, really good. Really clean look that I was looking for. And we also added some foam to all the aquariums to level them out and make them even better. And we also set up a new 55 that is currently crystal clear, planted and looking amazing. And I have a hang on the back uh, on it right now. Uh, so I'm just cycling it. And then the next video you guys will be seeing fish in this aquarium and probably in a couple other aquariums too in the next upcoming video, man. But I appreciate all the support. If you guys enjoyed today's video, man, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these videos, man. But I hope you guys are inspired by these videos, man, and by this series that I'm doing. Not only about the fish, but just that hard work pays off. And if you put the work in it, if you believe in yourself that you accomplish anything, so that goes out to all you guys out there. If you want to accomplish something, whatever it may be, you don't have to be anything in the fish business, but if you just want to accomplish anything in your life, just wake up every day, go after it, manifest it, speak it into existence, and live it every day. Plant your seeds now and watch everything grow later, man. So let's keep grinding, let's keep going, let's keep keeping these fish, man. I'm out of here. I'll holler.